Crystal Beaudry here with Crystal's Clean Kitchen, where we help make clean eating a lifestyle. So we have a great recipe for you today. It's keto approved, it's low carb friendly. We are going to be making some strawberry bread that has a really awesome glaze, strawberry glaze on the top, and it's so delicious, you're going to love it. Now this recipe was actually inspired by my sister. She called and said, hey, would you make a strawberry loaf of bread for me, I just think that would taste really good. So I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'll do it. So this is in honor of her, she's going to love it. And thank you guys so much for watching. You are not going to want to miss this recipe. Of course, it's packed with great ingredients and it's pretty simple to do on top of it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Here is all of the ingredients that we are going to be using. So we're gonna be starting with our batter. Now for the batter, you need 3 fourths of a cup of some strawberries, of course, chopped up. And then we're going to be mixing in one tablespoon of some coconut flour. And we're gonna do that just because we're gonna toss them in it so that it doesn't get too soggy in our bread. Then we're going to be using five eggs, 3 fourths of a cup of some sweetener. Now I'm going to be mixing both aluos and the urethritol monk fruit together just because I feel like the taste is much better when you mix the two together. So I'll be doing half of it in that and half of it in the aluos. Um, but you need three fourths of a cup total. Now for our almond flour, we're gonna use two and one fourth cup of almond flour and a fourth of a cup of some coconut flour. Now that's an additional fourth of a cup that's going in the batter. Then we're going to be using three teaspoons of some baking powder a half a cup of some coconut oil. Now, I just realized I ran out of coconut oil, so I'm gonna actually be using some MTC, MCT oil, which, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I thankfully have that on hand, so we'll be using a half a cup of coconut oil. Now, if you don't want to do coconut oil or MCT oil, you could, of course, do butter. I'm just trying to make this completely dairy-free, which is why I am doing that. Then we're also going to be adding in two tablespoons of some almond milk. Now I recently switched brands of almond milk. I got this kind because it only has three ingredients in it. I cut out so many of the ingredients, thankfully, with switching brands. So that one's a good one that you can find at pretty much any store. Then I'll be doing one teaspoon of some vanilla. And then I'll also be doing some freeze dried strawberries. Now that's what those are. You could do for strawberry extract, but I always have freeze dried strawberries on hand just because I always use them when I make frosting. It gives frosting a really good strawberry taste without tons of chunks in it. Now I'm also going to be making a glaze for the top of this. So for the glaze, I'm going to use some MCT oil. You could also use um, butter, of course. You could use coconut oil. So one tablespoon of that. I'm gonna be doing three tablespoons of some chopped up strawberries. You could just do the strawberry powder, like I said before, if you wanted. I'm gonna be doing a half a cup to one cup of aluos. Now that's depending upon how much glaze you're wanting. I'll probably start with a half a cup and see how the consistency is and also how much it is because I don't want too much of the frosting. I'm also going to be using a half a teaspoon of some vanilla and one to two tablespoons of some coconut cream. Now I put this in the refrigerator. I have another can in the refrigerator so it's totally cold and then I'm going to just be taking the cream from the top of it and saving the rest. Okay let's get into it. I have my tablespoon of some coconut flour right here. I have already washed and prepped my strawberries I like to soak them to get them all clean and make sure that there's no chemicals on them, even though they're organic. We're gonna cut them up into small pieces and then we will be throwing them into the coconut flour. All right, now that I've gotten all of them cut and ready to go, you know, I've done this step without this coconut flour before and it does just kind of make the bread super soggy, which we don't definitely don't want. So next we are going to be mixing all the dry ingredients. I have my two and one fourth cup of some almond flour. I have my fourth of a cup of some coconut flour. Here is the baking powder, three teaspoons of baking powder. And then I'm also gonna be adding in my sweetener. 
Now, if you are wanting to just do a half a cup, that would probably be sweet enough also. So I'm doing, I think I'm gonna just do a half a cup. I'm doing um, a fourth of a cup of Alulos and a fourth of a cup of the Urethitol monk fruit. And then I'm also going to be adding in my, my strawberries. So I'm gonna be blending them in my Ninja Chopper just to make sure that they're nice and powdered. Okay, so this just ended up being maybe a tablespoon. Just gonna give it a little bit more of that strawberry oomph to this recipe. You could add a little bit more than that if you want, but you don't have to. Okay, so I have my five eggs in here. I'm going to be adding in my fourth of a cup of coconut oil or MCT oil, whichever one you're using. A little bit of vanilla, maybe about a teaspoon. And then my two tablespoons, ooh, careful, of almond milk. Mix this together and then I will slowly add in the flour ingredients. I like to add it in half at a time, just to make sure that it's getting mixed evenly. All right, so I have my mixture. You could let it sit for a couple minutes if you wanted. I'm going to throw in the strawberries and I'm gonna just gently fold them in because we don't want it to just get a bunch of strawberry liquid. We wanna actually have those strawberry pieces. So just be super gentle with them. Then what we're gonna be doing is I am gra grabbing my bread pan. Now I bought this from Amazon. It is a silicone bread pan. It pops right out. You don't have to use butter or oil or anything like that. And it works so amazing. So I will link this down below. You definitely want to pick one of these up. Actually, I want to get two of them because I use them, I use them all the time. In fact, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I use this all the time. For any of the bread recipes that I make, I always use that pan and it works so amazing. I'm just going to even this out and then I'm going to bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 60 minutes. And I'm going to check it to make sure it's done at 60 minutes. If it's not, I'll put it in for an additional few minutes. And um, just you just wanna cook it until the inside, of course, is not liquidy. All right, so I have put in a half a cup of aluos. I'm going to start off with this pretty, pretty small. I'm not going to add everything in all at once because I wanna make sure that the consistency is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna start off with a half of a tablespoon of some coconut oil, just a hair, maybe a teaspoon of some vanilla. And then I'm also going to be putting in some of these freeze dried strawberries because I want this just to be like a strawberry explosion of flavor. And then I will be putting in, starting with one tablespoon of the coconut cream. Okay, so this consistency, as you can see, is definitely not correct. It is way too, way too thick. We want it to thin it out a little bit more. So I will add in the other teaspoon of coconut cream, the other half a teaspoon of the oil. And if you need to, you could also put in some almond milk. We'll see how this is going to operate or how, how it's gonna be after we blend it a little bit more. I'm going to check the consistency of this again. It's looking pretty thick. I'm gonna taste it. It's very strawberry. Strawberry, is that a thing? I'm gonna add in my strawberry chunks. Now I use the ones that have the coconut flour on them, which is fine. It is just gonna probably make this a little thicker. So I might have to add in just a little bit of the almond milk to kind of thin it out a little bit because I do want it not too thick. Just a little bit of almond milk. <clears throat> now you could, if you wanted, add in some lemon juice to this or some lemon zest, make it like a strawberry lemon. That would be really delicious too. I'm not going to be blending it a ton once I add the strawberries because I do still want some of the strawberry chunks. This is looking awesome. It's a little thinned out. You could keep it thicker if you wanted. I'm gonna be putting this in the fridge until we're ready for it. And we're not gonna be putting it on the bread until the bread is 100% completely cooled off. All right, here it is. Now, I was supposed to put some 
tin foil over the top of it after 30 minutes and I totally forgot. So it's a little darker than it should be. Now I love this, just pops right out. Okay, so you can leave it in the container if you're wanting before you put the frosting on, but I'm gonna take it out and then spread the frosting on. I'm just kind of smother the top of it. Oh, this looks so amazing. I actually just put it outside to cool down since it's Minnesota and it's still a little chilly out. Ooh, yum. All right, that was it. Now, I let it cool down completely. You could still leave it in the pan and then put the frosting on it and then put it in the refrigerator for a while just so that it sets if you wanted it a little harder. You could also put in less liquid if you are wanting it a little thicker. That would work out too. Now, I just wanted this a little, um, kind of like a light drizzle of it on it. So that's why I did it this way. But you guys, you gotta try this recipe. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Mm. This is perfect for spring. I love it. Ah, you guys, you gotta try this. Well, thank you so much for watching. It turned out so amazing. You're going to definitely want to make this. And don't forget to tag me. Let me know in the comments once you've tried it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for some more great recipes. We'll see you next time.